Okay, the jig is up. The fantasy's over. That's me combing my hair. Not everybody gets to see that. Okay, what's the story here? I'm jonesing. I'm jonesing really bad. I used to travel a lot. I had trips go up and down the coast in my van. We had beautiful boats. We'd go up and down the ocean, the rivers. It was wonderful. Then I started Humble Road. And Humble Road is a wonderful thing. It really took off like a bullet. And now we're very busy. We're rock solid. But I work a lot, a lot. And I'm jonesing. I'm jonesing to travel just to get out and do it again. And I think a lot of you missed those videos. Half my videos back in that day were travel videos and we had a lot of fun. I had even a cooking show. All right, so this is gonna be my cooking class. I'm in a campground, I got power. When I got the stove on, I gotta have the fan on, so of course you're gonna hear some background noise. So here's how I start. I cut up a lemon and I put some water in my breakfast pan. This is where I fried my eggs this morning. I leave that in there because that's good. Cooking was yours. Bing. So I got this big brainstorm. Now, mind you, I have a little travel trailer right out in the parking lot. And I love that little Springdale. I just love it. It's a little 18 foot uh, Keystone Springdale. And I'm living in that trailer three nights a week down here. My commute from home to the shop is 65 miles one way. And I was doing that 135 mile commute every day for years. I'm in that camper three nights a week and I love it. I love it. Of course, I'm not going anywhere. I'm out in the parking lot, but I got it all set up the way I like it. And I really feel good when I'm in there. I really do. Of course, I wish June was with me. But, so I got this brainstorm. The Humble Road Shop is down the shore in New Jersey. Down the shore, that's what we call it. And five miles to the east is the ocean. The most beautiful beaches in New Jersey. In, this, in the United States, I'd venture to say. That's right, New Jersey beaches. Five miles. So I said, okay, I gotta keep it simple. I can't afford anything big like a big truck camper. I can't put the time into that. I don't wanna be distracted from what I'm doing, which is designing and building vans. I said, I got an idea. I bought myself a full-size truck so I could go and get sheet goods more easily at the lumber yard. So I said, I'm gonna get a truck camper, a truck tent rather. Keep it simple, put it in here, I'll go to that beach. Island Beach State Park is the only state park in New Jersey that I know of that will allow you to camp on the beach. You gotta fish. It's for fishermen. It's called Mobile Fishing Permit. And they're pretty strict. It's a state park, but you can drive all up and down the beach. It's a five mile span along the beach where you can camp overnight. You gotta have a pole in the water, right? Certain things you have to have, certain requirements. Fine, I can do all that. I might even like fishing. But my intention is to go down there at 4.30 in the afternoon, pull on the sand, set all this up, make myself a nice meal, close it all down. I hear the waves, I hear the ocean, the seagulls are there. I watch a little movie on my iPad. Next morning, I make breakfast along the ocean with the seagulls and the sunrise, and then I come back to work. Oh, I would love that. I would love it. I could feel it. I can even smell the salt air right now. I said, okay, George, 
Let's pull back the reins now. Keep it simple. Don't go crazy. So I bought a very simple truck tent, a truck bed tent. Very simple. This was $160 on Amazon. Well, you know that old saying, you get what you pay for. This thing is a beast to put together and take down. It's very difficult. It's very frustrating. It's no good. I'm sending it back. I found one that's a little better. Of course, it's more money, but I got to have ease of, ease of use, right? I can't be struggling with the setup and takedown. It'll ruin the whole night and my Jones will come back. But anyway, my intention is my nice little galley with some storage underneath. I got a 70 inch bed bunk with a 72 inch pad. The whole idea is I want all of this to be flat in the truck bed with the tailgate closed and pull my tonneau cover closed. When I get to the beach, I roll the tonneau back. I put up the tent, everything's here. I'm good to go. Well, simple went out the window. Uh, I'm really, really part of the martini crowd. So what did I do? I bought, after a lot of research, I bought an EcoFlow Delta II uh, lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate battery pack. I did a lot of research. I decided that was the best one to get, the EcoFlu, EcoFlow Delta II. And I got it on a lightning deal on Amazon. I saved $100 off the price, so I had to do it. So now I'm making money, right? I got a nice little galley, I got the bed, I got the EcoFlow, I can bring a microwave, I can bring an Instapot, right? Even the July and August months down here, very hot and humid on the beach, although there is a nice breeze, but I may decide to put in some sort of an air conditioner. The EcoFlow can handle it. Uh, but anyway, that's my thought, that's my idea, is to, to give myself a little treat once a week maybe, twice a month, I don't know. Keep it simple, get out there and enjoy that beach. So this is the lighting setup I used to do my nighttime uh, segment. Over here, I've got a Mo Richardson tungsten head. I think they call it a baby solar spot. I call it a 750 because I put a 750 watt tungsten bulb in there. That head is probably 40 years old. I had a full studio of Mo Richardson equipment and all the grip, the stands, C stands. I sold it all when the uh, when I closed the studio in 2008. Did I ever tell you about that crash of 2008? All right, I'll tell you another time. Here I've got what I call a gobo in the film industry. That's called a flag, and what that's doing is it's just cutting a little bit of the light off of the. You can see this moves around. See that shadow moving. So it just gives you another little shape on the screen there, on the tent, and uh, it uh, more easily mimics nighttime, you know, something in the way of the moon outside. Of course, the blue light is to suggest moonlight. Um, inside, where the camera is sitting and where the scene took place, I've got my camera over here on the right, and it's just shooting past the microwave to the bed. I've got another blue gelled head over here this is an LED light, and that blue light is basically to open up and illuminate me in the bed. Uh, it was very dark, as you know, from watching the scene. Down here, I'm using a white light, and I'm able to dial this down to a certain intensity where all I needed was a few highlights and description on some of the components in the scene, and your brain uh, puts it all together and it helps you understand exactly where I am, and what I'm doing. So very, very simple set, nothing too uh, uh, extravagant about this. It's pretty cool. I still love doing this stuff.